Hello, this is Katherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading a fable from Sophia's Fables for Younger Generations, written by Olusola Sophia Anyanwu. And this fable is called Tara's Funny Game. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where me find and purchase this book. Fables for Younger Generations is a collection of animal stories where animals act like humans in their thoughts. It also reflects how some of these stories would have been told to children in Nigeria 60 years ago. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tara's Funny Game Chubby, the big five-year-old gorilla, lived with his wife Tara in a zoo. They were the best of friends to one another. They hardly ever fought or quarreled. Their neighbors all envied them. Tara was a very quiet woman. She was now four years old. When she was younger, she was very active and talkative. As the marriage years went on, she realized she would not be blessed with children. She became withdrawn and all the humor in her went off. When Chubu noticed the change in his wife's behavior, he became very devoted and gentle towards her. He also knew that whatever must be responsible for his wife's inability to have children was not her own fault. Since Chubby and Tara lived in a zoo, they were always receiving visitors. In their first early years, when they arrived at the zoo, they both used to be excited by the visitors. Now, they were bored and fed up. They felt like coming out of their cages and giving some unlucky person a good knock on the head. One Saturday, at about 5 p.m., Chubby and Tara were sitting closely, huddled on the open field of their apartment. There were many visitors looking at them. Many of these visitors called Chubby and Tara to come and take something from them to eat. They did this by making silly sounds from their mouths and stretching their empty palms towards the couple. Some others called them unkind names or just tried to tease them. But all these games did not interest Chubby and Tara. Tara became restless. She broke off from her husband's embrace and began to cry. The human visitors who did not know what was happening were excited and they clapped their hands for Tara. Oh Chubby, can't you send these human beings away? They make me sick. See how they just stare at me? moaned Tara. They are not staring at you alone. They always do that to all of us that live here. Why should you get worried? Come along, Tara, and see how many ants and white hair you can pick out from your husband's head, said Chubby, to lighten her mood. No, I won't. Drive them away first, insisted Tara. You could throw water or something else on their faces. Without any warning, Chubby moved towards the edge of their pool and splashed a lot of water on their visitors' faces. Many of the visitors drew back in amusement. They thought it was a hilarious game. A few seconds later, they were all back on Chubby's veranda. They wanted another game. Many visitors crowded Chubby's home to see if he would repeat the game. Tara, my dear, see what you have caused? Many more people have come to get a bit of our water. It looks like they enjoyed my throwing water at them. Tara did not reply. She just looked at the crowd with dull eyes. She sat on her palms cupped upwards towards her buttocks and started to sing. The human visitors did not go away. They crowded at the veranda of the gorilla apartment. The veranda had large, strong bars, which prevented visitors from getting too close to the gorilla house where Chubby and Tara lived. The sun had set down a bit, 
A nice, cooling 5 p.m. breeze blew in. The leaves on the veranda and some paper droppings rustled gently on the ground. The human visitors were very relaxed. Someone threw a stone at the pole. Many others attempted to speak in the gorilla language by making funny sounds come out of their mouths. Somebody else called Chubby, Black Old Papa. And somebody else, too, pointed at Tara's face and said, Old woman, what are you eating? Your mouth is ugly. Tara had by now become so angry. To the surprise of the visitors, and including her husband, she rushed towards her visitors. With cupped hands that had a lot of poo, she slammed the poo on the faces of the visitors. This worked like magic. All the visitors ran far away from them. Many had got some of the poo into their eyes, hair, head, faces, chests, and necks. They heard Chubby and Tara howling, but they were laughing. That was a very funny game, Tara, Chubby remarked. I think it will be my turn to play it next on our visitors. For the rest of the evening, Chubby and Tara had a very quiet evening. The visitors did not consider Tara's funny game funny. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where we find and purchase this book.